What's up guys, Tiger Flash here and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert digital music that you have on your computer like for example mp3 music and to put it on a CD that you can listen in any uh, CD drive for example in your car or any uh, device that is able to read CDs not only computers okay guys I see you coming with a question why is Tiger Flash making a video on CDs in 2021 when CDs were used back in like the late 90s and early 2000s and yeah I get it but I like my CDs, you know, it's a physical copy of the music that I can listen to. But the main reason why I'm making this video is for people who have a very old car like this one. This car does not have Bluetooth and does not have a Nox jack like plug. So basically you have to put CDs in to listen to your music. And now since my family and a lot of you guys are probably buying, yeah, buying, like do not try to cheat and have your music for free, that's not good for artists. But yeah, we're actually buying music like on the iTunes store. So we are we did not have physical copy of our music that we are buying on the Apple store or the iTunes store, sorry. So if I want to have my virtual copy of my music on the iTunes store and like in my any like on my phone, my computer, etc. But I, I want to also be able to listen to it on in my car, and that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, so to do so iTunes is actually my favorite application even if you have like a PC like this one or if you have a Mac so if you have a PC it's pretty simple to get iTunes like just write uh, download iTunes on uh, the web and you're gonna be able to get iTunes for your PC and that's wha what we're gonna do today also you must have like a CD play DVD player uh, on your computer if you don't have one you can also buy a USB one to be able to do uh, this manipulation. Okay, so once your uh, iTunes is open, you wanna actually drag your music in the iTunes. So just take it like from a USB stick or I don't know where you get it from and just drag it in your iTunes. Like for example, me, I bought the music on my Mac, which is right here. And I, I put it on a USB key since this Mac does not have a CD player. I put it on a USB key and then I just drag my music here in my iTunes on my old PC. So here you have the album that I want to put on my CD. So it's Lost Highway from Bon Jovi. And here you cannot copy directly the album. You have to create a playlist, which we are going to do. So you have to here add to a playlist here. And you want to create a new playlist because there's a maximum capacity on your CD. So here, as you can see, a new play playlist has been created called Lost Highway, 12 songs, 51 minutes. So as you can see, this is the playlist that I'm going to be using to copy on my CD. Okay, so now you can put the CD in the computer. So just take it, be careful, don't scratch it. I just pause the video to make sure not to break anything. And there we go, that's pretty simple. As you can see. Okay, so once the disc is in, uh, Windows gave me a little notification that the disc was in. Now you can go on your playlist. So here, the playlist Lost Highway, and you want to right click, and here you can see engrave the playlist on a disc. So you want to press here, and here there's a couple manipulation to do. So yeah, you want like the speed, yeah, best possible. That's good. And the disc format, you want to use a audio CD. So do not use like MP3 or like a CD for you know data because those are not going to be readable by every possible machine. So you have to use audio CD like this, and you actually you actually want to press here engrave, and it's going to be doing it. So just make sure most CDs you cannot do this again. So once it's done, it's over for this CD. It's gonna have lost highway forever on the CD and I'm not going to be able to put another album on the CD. So just make sure that it's the right thing that you're doing so you don't mess up CDs. So here you just wanna wait and basically the CD is gonna be ejecting and it's gonna be uh, ready to be played. Okay, so now it's done. So I heard a little sound that tell me that it was done. And it took around like 15 to 20 minutes, so it's not really long. And now you can just press here to eject the CD. And there you go, you're ready to play. Okay, so as you can see now, if I insert the CD in the car. Okay, so I'm gonna start really loud, but as you can see it's working and I wanna get demonetized. So let's just like switch tracks. Just to show, oh it's not this button, right? Oh it's this one, yeah. 
Okay, it's enough. So uh, you see, it's working.